recently, you know, when he said about SEBI being more efficient in this, probably that's because of what we call the SOP penalties. Because SEBI has got these giant penalties that sort of, you know, like built up. So intermediaries, um, you know, it's good because intermediaries uh, who are regulated by SEBI, um, they have these penalty structures where irrespective of what you tell them, you have to justify it later, the penalties start building up. So there are per day penalties or there are monthly penalties, quarterly penalties, you cannot avoid them and then you'll have to go and challenge them. So then intermediaries tend to follow deadlines very strictly. For instance, now, you know, applying here, if somebody wants, uh, uh, let's say a dematerialization or a, uh, a, a, a maybe a validation of death or whatever, and you put in a strict deadline. Now they put it very quantitatively, Sebi. So they say, look, if you don't dispose of this within 30 days, <coughs> now this penalty will start applying. Now, what is your uh, excuse for it? That will be something else. That may be, a, <laughs> you know, a good danda to ensure that they follow it, you know, that's also there. But the other, uh, the other good thing that Sebi has done, two good things they have done, very clearly they have mentioned in this, uh, I, I think everybody should look at this centralized death claim reporting that SEBI has put in. It's one of a kind world over. It does not exist anywhere else in the world to the best of uh, my knowledge. They have put in one thing. They said that except for these two documents or these three documents, you cannot ask for a third document. Right? And they... And that also frees the intermediaries, sir. Because they say, now my regulator has told me that I cannot ask for anything more than this at the risk of penalties. I cannot delay. I cannot ask for these documents. So I think that kind of clarity from the regulator, that when this happens, this is the only thing that you can ask. I mean, this is the only circular I have seen where it says... You cannot ask for anything else in so, so many plain documents? English. One is a death certificate and that too the first reporting place. You have to give a death certificate. Once that is verified uh, by, the, uh, by the intermediary, then they have to depend Correct. on that. They, can, they don't have to subsequently verify in, within the securities market. One more Only document? within the... One more second is the form. You okay. would need a form. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever and is their individual forms. I was forms. told that even subsequent ones, uh, with MF Central, if you uh, upload this form, I don't know whether it's been implemented, but that was the intent. Thereafter, everybody, all the other uh, yeah. parties, have to automatically act on it. Yes, sir. It that is, is the centralized death vote. claim. That now the So, in securities market, just for those who do not know, suppose you have mutual fund holdings and you have a DMAT holding with a a particular DMAT account hold a DMAT a DP provider and you have same mutual funds with four in one of them you report automatically the KRA will look at which are the other intermediaries that have done for this particular PAN number it will automatically inform them each of those mutual funds have to on their own reach out to the nominees uh, that are there in their records Within a certain time frame, I think that time frame is 7 days or 15 days. Within that time frame, they have to reach out with what forms you will need. And that is again, as I said, restricted. Ki this is what you will need. And again, when that is submitted, it, the submission is still needed to be done separately. But once that is done, then again, within a certain time frame, it has to be acted on. So this kind of clarity... It's really something, it is already being done. So, I mean, I think there are about, since 1st January, I believe there are about thousands, some thousand cases. There are hitches going there from what little I know, but it is working. It's already working. Just to add to that, see, the another very important aspect of that is it's a single window system. As far as the, the shareholder is concerned or the claimant is concerned, uh, the legal heir for that matter, that person has to only inform one intermediary and that's it. They don't, uh, they don't really get involved later on. So then it goes to the KYC, I mean, uh, re registering authority and then it, it, it follows a process. And that 
The internal validation process, uh, it, it's twofold actually. One at the intermediary level and then at the KRA level. And once the KRA level is done, either if, if it's incomplete, there's a flag and transactions are not allowed. But once it's complete, then it disseminates to the entire system and then you don't really have to do anything more. So that is a very efficient and a, a result of a lot of thought. Uh, that's, that's quite good actually, you know.